Good morning, I'm Bree Harvey and right to your top story. In Baton Rouge, a high school football player was shot dead at a graduation party this weekend. Senior Bryant Lee was the starting quarterback for McKinley High School. The party was a few blocks from his home. This is the second time Lee has been shot. Six months ago, Lee got shot in the leg and in both cases, his family says he was just a bystander. The Pelicans finally made it official Monday afternoon. The club released a statement saying head coach Alvin Gentry and general manager Dell Demps will return for the 2017-18 season. The Pelicans won 34 games this season in Gentry's second year. Demps has been the Pelicans' general manager since the summer of 2010 and has won two playoff games in the first year, but none since. And while it has taken a while, but LSU baseball is starting to get on a roll at just the right time. The Tigers with a weekend sweep of Auburn are perhaps getting in the hunt to be one of eight national seeds. In Baton Rouge, days before a key series against Mississippi State, head coach Paul Maneri said for his Tigers, there's still a chance to be home for the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Ed Daniels has more. LSU won three on the weekend and Mississippi State lost two. So the Tigers are in front in the SEC West by one game with three to play, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in Starkville. A national seed is attainable, said head coach Paul Maneri. Yes, I do think we're back in the discussion if we take care of business going forward. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means two out of three. I don't know if it means three out of three. I don't know if it means two out of three, plus you better make a good showing at the SEC tournament. I don't know if it means two out of three and you got to win the SEC tournament. Mineri said six teams, including Florida, should be top eight national seeds. But I think there's six teams that are probably locks. And I think there's probably a handful of other teams that are competing for the other two national seeds. And I think we're one of those teams. Here at the box, talk of this weekend series against Mississippi State is strictly verboten. Head coach Paul Mineri said it's all about a midweek game against Northwestern State and for good reason. The Tigers are seven wins, six losses in midweek games. The Tigers lost twice to UNO and twice to Tulane. So if you guys had won a few more of those games, we may not be having that conversation. Yeah, I mean, you know, we win two, three of those, and uh, well, I think we only got three losses in the midweeks, and you now we're feeling good about ourselves. And Tuesday night's game against Northwestern at the box is a 6.30 start. Kicks baseball on a Monday night at the Shrine on Airline, former Marlin Adam Connolly sent down and though he strikes out four, he gives up three earned runs and four and a third. That includes four walks. This is Destin Hood for New Orleans, getting all of it to dead center. Two homers for Hood in the game but no win for New Orleans, 6-4 Salt Lake takes the cakes. And a true sign that changes on the way for the LSU offense, one of the nation's top receivers is transferring to LSU. Jonathan Giles of Texas Tech announced on Twitter he's coming to Tiger Town. He had 1,158 receiving yards and 13 touchdowns in 2016. He'll sit this season out, but still has two seasons of eligibility remaining. Giles is a major score for offensive coordinator Matt Canada, who pried him away from Ohio State and Florida State. I'm Bree Harvey, and that's what's going on in sports.